After our Indian wedding, I finally got the chance to welcome Meera to Bihar. And let me tell you, it was quite an experience. We not only visited Patna, but we also went to the local village where my parents and the other family still live. Our days were full of delicious Indian food, welcome ceremonies, and of course, exploring the Indian country life. Yep, after our wedding, it was my first time to visit Adi, his, I don't want to say home village, more is... Uh, where my parents live. Yeah. And didn't... where my grandparents grew up. Yeah, and, and he, lived. you didn't really grow up there, but you spent a lot of your holidays there, right? Yeah, yeah, and, because uh, I studied in Patna, Patna with my grandmother. And this place where we were going was like three, four, uh, Adi always says two and a half hours from Patna. <laughs> until now, it just took me four, five, six hours. Sometimes it takes two hours that when evening, you are not there. <laughs> the first time I went there, it took more than six hours, I think. It was in the middle of the night. I didn't see nothing around me, so it was a complete surprise the next day when I woke up like, where am I? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, here we have some final rituals and I'm also going to explore this place because it is really... I couldn't imagine this. It's, it's really interesting and uh, yeah, I cannot wait to explore this place further. It was a really interesting puja. Uh, I didn't really have a clue what was going on. I was also really tired. I think you can see it throughout this whole video. We just came from our wedding. Eh? So we didn't sleep for how many days and then we rushed there, rushed there. And then we were suddenly in this place doing a puja. <laughs> And also this uh, the the gungot, what we say like the 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 sari you have to put that's what oh. we had to do that's what we had to do to Mira when uh, she came to our house for the first time. It's a really pretty one. Uh, it was just a bit annoying because it didn't really stay over my head. So I had to hold it all the time here. And but yeah, normally I, I'm moving with my hands, yeah. you know, and I don't want to hold this all the time. So uh, it was a bit frustrating. But luckily we came back and then I didn't have to wear it. And then it was time for Mira to cook something really special. Oh, I was so excited. I first <laughs> time Indian cooking, but I think nobody had really a lot of belief in me because I was only allowed to, <laughs> to roll the roti. <laughs> <laughs> oh, mm, very good. Oh. Yeah, because usually if it's a new daughter-in-law coming in the house, she has to cook this specific dish for, for everyone. everyone. <laughs> no, yeah, they were right. Like I'm for sure not able to cook that, of course, because I, I didn't even know. And you know what's funny? I think you see it also in this video. The kitchens are super low. As soon as I step into the kitchen, I feel so awkward. You know, I feel like this giant. And, <laughs> because it's it comes just, until here. Yeah, really. like you really have to bend over. It's, it's really strange. I was happy that I just had to roll. And Mira just rolled a little bit and everyone was like, Oh, very good, very yeah. good, very good. Oh. Good. Nice. And then it was time to go to the village. It's another hour driving from his parents and there, that's the farm. I would call it the farm. Farmhouse, yeah. That's yeah. like, uh, that's where my uncle is and that's where my grandparents grew. And that's where we went for holiday. That was like our, the best we Back spent the, the best time of our lives there. Yeah. <clears throat> His uncle and Choti Mommy are living there. Choti Mommy. <laughs> I really love, like, there are a lot of these Indian words, like Babi, Choti Mommy, uh, Baya. But, but Choti yeah. Mommy, I think it's the cutest. It's the cutest. Okay, yeah. maybe we can name you Choti Mommy. Choti Mommy. Someone also calls you Choti Mommy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and that feels weird. Mira, <laughs> where are you? We are at the farm. And there's a cow, a Dutch cow. Not a Dutch cow, it's like half the size of a Dutch cow. <laughs> and Adi and his cousin, they showed me around. We went to the cow farm where they're still milking the cows with the hands. Yeah, so you can milk the cow. Do they do it with the hands too? Yeah. I, I think you see it in this video as well. A lot of times I was just so like, what's happening? Huh? Like, I've never seen something like this. And then also you see something so extraordinary and then also thinking at the same time, this is how Adi grew up. Yeah. It's just so like a whole different world. It's really interesting. So if you have seen our previous video, we have cooked a liti on cow dung. 
No, it doesn't smell oh, nothing. It smells pretty good. It smells like grass. And now I see how it stays. Yeah. So they do this, they throw it on the wall, and then you get cut. But you mix with some things. Yeah, you mix it with, uh, uh, how do you call it? Hay? Yeah. Yeah. And, and there are some. It's come the perfect timing because they're going to milk the cows. And oh, they're already doing it. So, Mira, you wanna go and. Uh... You want to milk the cows? Uh, oh, crazy. They do it with a hand. We can go in there, that's where they sleep in winter. And uh, uh, this afternoon we drink, we eat this drink. milk. We eat this milk. Yeah, we so, had like a kheer, so it's like rice pudding. So every day it's like fresh milk or they store it as well? No, fresh. Because we sell some of the milk. Here? Yeah. And or like it goes to some like a dairy company. Okay. And some of the milk we drink. So whatever we are drinking is like super pure. And it tastes like you can feel the difference in the taste. It's really good, but also because Indian people can just cook so good. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's time to take a look over the village. <laughs> look, everybody's watching you now. No. Man, you know, we used to play in this so much. Where? In this water? No, Not no, no. the water, that dry uh, wheat. The dry wheat. Oh, yeah. They would like pile up the whole wheat and we'll play in there. Maybe cauliflower. Look at this. So Mira is enjoying some really nice farm sightseeing. You have to touch it, pick it out. But this is wheat. Just yes, pick it out. It is a rice corn. Yeah. You're making a fool of me, right? This no, 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 no. This is not wheat. There must be rice inside this. Wheat is a little bit thicker. Oh, really? Now, who knew that rice is almost the same as wheat? Kijk. <gasps> it is. Yeah. There's rice in it. Wow. So, we're gonna have a lot of rice. Let's make a rice farm in the Netherlands. It's so interesting. Like, I grew up here. It's so different. This was our playground back yeah. in the day. Like it's a bit like how my grandparents or even maybe generation above mm -hmm. is living. And next morning we went again to explore more of the village because I wanted to show Mira how the farms are and all, where all the all our playgrounds are where we did picnic and everything. So yeah, it was really fun. I really enjoyed that morning. Yeah, and after, for the first time I really walked through all the rice fields. We are at um, our mango farm. But we don't have any mangoes, Mira. But they have really big trees, like really proper trees, and they are full of mangoes in summer. Like yeah. back in the day, we had like all trees here, 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 but all those trees, they have aged up, so they don't give enough good mangoes. So now we are planting more new mangoes. My uncle is doing all that. So all the trees would grow something like this later. And we gonna also, I'll also give a more tour to Mira. Just walk around the fence and then show more of the farmland. So it's really interesting to see how everything uh, works here. It's uh, for sure really different than, than what I'm used to. But yeah, this is how it goes in other countries. So now we are walking in the rice fields and these are about to cut really soon because now it's the time. And now it's like really good time for us to come because it's like a bit chilly in the morning but still the sun falls on you so it's perfect. It's really nice. How many rice is, you think this like half a kilo? I have no clue. I have, I have no rice. clue. But it's way more wet here. Way more. It, I think it's just dew. Oh still? Yeah. Oh. Because it's winter. It's like what November? Yeah. This, uh, oh, yeah. You see the animals now from close by. Oh yeah, we have some animals. We have in some front. Uh, Indian deers, but they yeah. are like I thought Indian deers like skinny deers, but they are bigger. Yeah, like they are completely different breed, but we don't know the name, so we told me right, Indian deer. Oh, it's not so Indian. It deer. is like similar to Indian oh. deer. Yeah, they're pooping so much. So Mira is going closer to the animals. Usually they move. So, so Mira is doing some rock climbing. The ultimate test. I can live here. Oh. Ah. Yay! <laughs> 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 
So now we have some 360 view on uh, on the rice fields and the deers. So back in the day we would come here and have picnic on this one or on or in the room inside. And these things are so like we if you come two months ago this would be so different the whole landscape there would be just so much green so much animals there would be so much water so much mud but now it's a really good time to come probably. It was really scary these things when you were small. Yeah. Because everything looks so big and dangerous. Oh wait. Yeah. There. Yeah, but I'm scared to drop myself. Just drop it. <laughs> Come on, <laughs> fear. So we have a big hole in the road. Big hill. You did it. Woo! Did you show the hole? Yeah crazy deep hole there and now it's not rainy season but normally when it's rainy season like everything is slippery and crazy so in my back you see a school and the school is donated by Adi's family to the village and we are going to look inside my grandmother she was actually a principal of a school of our school so now we are going to that school and we're gonna take Mira and there's a lot of kids there so we'll see what happens you can go say hi <laughs> we are standing in the middle of the school and all the students they came to see Mira no yeah Oh, oh. they're all coming in. Yeah. Oh, this is some boys. Yeah, oh, do it again. yeah awkward, so, I don't know. I don't really like at all to be in the center of attention. And a lot of times <laughs> in India, you are in the center I of attention. All the time. All the time. So it's, uh, I think I will never get used to that. I get shy. Even when children, they were so cute, but there were just so many. Maybe people get used to you. So from a tour around the fields, we go do a tour from the house, because that's also a really interesting one. So this is the front and it looks like a little castle and it is like a castle in this area. I think it's even grander than a castle in this area. And this is the patio. And here we do some chilling. And then we come inside here and there's the stairs upstairs. There's the pit pool. And this is an in-house uh, in uh, garden. Yeah, garden. there's like a... And there's uh, so many rooms, so many rooms. And there's like a prayer room, a kitchen, a storage room, bathrooms, a washing room, dishwashing room. So you need a lot of rooms here. And fun fact, they just built another room on top. Just for me. For us. Should we and show for the guests. It? And we will show you. This is the new bo newborn, <laughs> the new build room. And it's really big and light. I like it. So after some exploring the village, now we are going to do something more adventurous. Some really local village adventure. And it's <laughs> my first time doing this. I'm so excited. So let's show you. You have to just hold tight. <laughs> Was it close? Oh, Adi wants to show off a bit more. <laughs> We, this was you also run away our... from the fights. No, 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 no. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this was also our uh, kind of activity, but we were doing under supervision of my uncle. Oh. Almost. So Mira is not giving up. I'm becoming so good. Is it water Turned out I'm not a nature talent. I felt so. As cherry on top, we also got to experience our first Indian wedding, not for myself, but for <laughs> someone, someone, else. someone else. And it was grand. You would think you have seen so many impressive things by now, but this wedding, still, when I think about it now, I'm just, I didn't know that this existed. It was so cool, so cool. And I really would love to experience something like this again. So 
if one of our subscribers, if they are getting married and if they have this grand wedding of 2,000 people, please invite us. Yeah, it would be so much fun. So Mira can be the center of attention <laughs> no, of the yeah, wedding. No, yeah, possibly the last one. Maybe I put the thing around my head <laughs> or you know, paint my hair black. And if you haven't seen our wedding videos, really go watch it because... Yeah, it I put them all really in good. the description. If you didn't watch them, really watch them. They're fun and also really beautiful, I think. Then it was time for Mira to cook on a fire, again cooking. So we have an outdoor kitchen and we're going to look, look uh, a bit closer to the kitchen. Yeah, can you show us? Oh, so much fire here as well. Oh my god. Oh, so smoke. This is the outdoor kitchen, guys. Oh, I cannot breathe out, I cannot breathe. Yeah, yeah. Breathe. Whoa, it's full on fire. Oh, maybe they tried the other way out. Yeah. It was just for the thumbnail, but hey, you click, so it worked. Thank you, and we'll see you in the next one.